Systems team. And today what we're going to be doing is uh, replacing the print engine on the Copilot 500 printhead. Okay, so before you're ready to uh, start your print engine replacement, you're going to want to make sure you have a few tools handy. Uh, the first one you're going to need is a number two Phillips, along with a number one Phillips. You'll also want to have a five millimeter or three sixteenths nut driver. You're also going to want to make sure you have a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. A T-handle with a long shank would be perfect. You'll also want to make sure you have a flush cut pair of dykes. Once you have your tools handy and you're ready to start, first thing you're going to want to do is remove the output check valve. What I like to do once that's removed is then cap that uh, connection. Place the check valve to the side. The next step will then be to remove the side cover. We'll use our two Phillips and remove the four screws. cover should remove just like that. Now you should have access to the inside of the printhead. You'll see that there's a board here that needs to be moved in order to get access to the print engine below it. We'll take our number one Phillips and remove the screw holding it in place at the top. Now in order to fully remove the board, we'll need to remove the standoffs that hold the board in place on the outside. So with our 5mm nut driver, we'll go ahead and take those out. With the board loose, it is time to disconnect. Take care not to damage the ribbon cable located here. What I like to do is remove the ribbon cable from the print engine. There's a tab here, same as on the board, as will be on the print engine, that needs to be pushed in to release. All right. So make sure you have your finger on the tab, push that in, and pull out the cable flush like that. The next step here is then to remove this bracket that holds the heat sink in place. And again, we'll use our number two Phillips. bracket should be able to come off just like that. Our next step here will be to remove the screws holding the print engine in place. And for that we will need our Allen wrench. You'll notice on the top of the print head there are slots here and a plug here. This can be removed by just pressing in. Slide the Allen through the slot and seat in the head. Pull loose and repeat on the other side. With the screws loose, it's time to cut the tubing off of our ink connections. With your flush cut dykes, we like to take and side cut the tubing. 
take care not to cut the actual barb itself. Then you should be able to pull up. You can pull out the rest of the engine, push that to the side, and repeat the process with the next barb. Right now we have successfully removed the 500 print engine. We'll take these screws and use them for the next installation. Once you have the print engine out of the print head, you'll want to remember to remove the gasket as well, which is just by lifting it out. So when you are uh, making a replacement of your print engine, um, you're going to want to make sure you have Part number 2005989. It's a Copilot 500 replacement kit. You will get tubing and you will also get a new gasket as well as a print engine. The tubing on the print engine will be pre cut and ready for installation. So before you're ready to install that print engine, you're going to want to make sure that the area where the gasket rests is cleaned up. What we like to do is take a rag and some cleaner. Um, the cleaner will be 1043 or 1053 for the oil-based cleaner. Make sure the area is clean. Once the area is clean, you're ready to install your gasket. One thing I'll point out is the offset of the screw ports. So they just line up one at the bottom and one on the top. Your gasket should lay flush as such. Before you install the print engine, you want to remove the protective cover. You'll also want to remove the tubing protectors. Also take note that there is a la layer of film that protects the nozzles on the print engine itself. That will need to be removed before installation. With the gasket in place, the cover off and the Mylar protector off, we're ready to install a replacement print engine. You want to install the outlet line first into the connection barb down here. Now carefully line up the print engine surface onto the gasket. Now you'll want to install the ink inlet line. With the ink connections put in place, We'll want to fasten down the screws we removed previously. It's a good idea to alternate to make sure you have a flat and level seat on the gasket. Once you've started the screws, I like to make sure that the gasket isn't covering the uh, nozzle hole.
Well, complete the fasten. You're looking for a snug fit, but not too tight, as the gasket can warp. Once the print engine is fastened in place, we're ready to install our heat sink bracket. Now we're ready to reinstall our driver board. First, we need to reconnect our data cable. We'll just fine and align the connection. Once you have it aligned, push in from both sides. Next step will then be to fasten down the board. We'll do the Phillips screw at the top here first. Then we'll install the standoffs. Next, we'll go ahead and reinstall the side cover. Once the side cover is put in place, we can go ahead and reinstall our output check valve. And lastly, install the plug that we use to install the print engine. Once everything's been installed, go ahead and take a final inspection. What we're looking for is to make sure that the gasket isn't covering the nozzles. As you can see, the gasket material is not showing. And we want to make sure everything here is seated correctly. Using your 1053 cleaner, you can go ahead and use lint-free wipe to clean out the outside of the printhead. The printhead is now ready for installation and commissioning. 